Okay, so I wanted to make some videos on the lenses themselves specifically. So the next four videos are all gonna be labeled about a particular lens and you can jump to that one if that's the one you're interested in. Um, and if you have any particular questions or concerns that are more specific to your situation, just call my office. I'm happy to talk to you to help you figure out which one would uh, be right for you. Um, that being said, the first lens I always talk about is the standard lens. And I talk about that one first because that's the base option. Everyone's a candidate for the standard lens. Uh, when we do cataract surgery, you have to have a lens placed back in its place. Um, and this is the one that anyone can get. The upside of the standard lens is one, it's a great lens. Uh, you shouldn't feel pressured to do anything beyond just the standard lens. Um, and it's the one that's covered by insurances. So, you know, Medicare, private insurance, it doesn't really matter. That, that lens is a part of the package of cataract surgery. And so you might owe a copay or deductible, but there'd be no additional fee to the lens is the point that I'm making. Um, and, and again, great lens. The only downside of the lens is that a lot of people that get the standard lens still end up needing to get either a bifocal or progressive glasses, because uh, it's just a little bit more limited in what prescription we can put in the lens. Um, the, the most common thing I'll describe is astigmatism. Now, astigmatism I'll go over in more detail in another video, but it's basically a shape at the front of your eye, the cornea. Um, it's shaped more like a football than is a basketball, and generally speaking, glasses treats that. Uh, but specifically, the standard lens does not treat that. Now, astigmatism, everyone has a little bit. For example, I'll give you this, I have a little bit of astigmatism, but I have better than 20-20 vision. So having a little bit doesn't necessarily impact your vision, but if you have more than a little bit, then it does induce a little bit of a blur. Um, and the standard lens doesn't treat any of it. So to any degree you have astigmatism in your cornea, you're gonna have it in, when you're fully healed up. And so a lot of folks that get the standard lens will ask me to set the focus point for the distance. Uh, so I should also mention the standard lens is a monofocal lens, meaning it, I set that thing to one focus point. So if I set it for distance, of course your distance vision is gonna be much better than your up close vision. But if you have a lot of astigmatism, even your distance vision won't be as sharp as you want it to be without glasses. With glasses, it's the whole range I'd expect to be pretty good. Um, but that's the key, is that with the standard lens, a lot of folks still end up getting bifocals or progressives if you prefer the no-line type of that. But the point is that even if I take that lens and set it for distance, you may still need glasses in the distance to get your sharpest vision. I will also say, not everybody does. There are some people that um, when I look at the measurements, it shows enough astigmatism where I expect a blurriness even when I set the lens at distance. But then I do the surgery and the patient themselves feel like they don't need glasses. Well, that's great. I'm happy for that patient. They, they're just gonna get readers afterward. But um, I certainly would not be able to guarantee that because the numbers suggest one thing out of that. Um, and that highlights the second point. People are different. There are some patients that see maybe 2025 or 2030 with that standard lens implant and that is legally good enough to drive without glasses in the state of Texas. That's sort of a big benchmark we use for distance vision, if you will. But that patient may still feel like they don't see that well in the distance. In which case I'll say, okay, let's give you a pair of glasses that sharpen up the rest of the way. And of course you still need your reading glasses, hence bifocal progressives. Uh, whereas other people have done the surgery and they're 20, 40, 20, 50 even sometimes without glasses. But they feel like they see great without glasses. Well, okay, that's just a personality difference now. And I bring this up because a lot of you will say, oh, I have friends that got the standard lens and they see great without glasses. They say they only use it for reading. To which I would say, okay, they might be patient number two in the scenario I just described right now. Or maybe they didn't have a lot of a signal to start with. So they actually are seeing 2025 or even 2020 without glasses. Um, so there's a huge variable outcome here. But the point that I'm making here is that with the standard lens, you gotta expect glasses to be a significant part of your life after the surgery. Um, and I, if you're curious how much astigmatism you have, I'll usually have the measurements in the room with me as I'm talking to you. Just ask me to show it to you. And I can give you a reasonable estimate of whether I think you'll need glasses or not. But I would just tell folks that if you're choosing the standard lens, you sort of have to accept that's gonna be a part of it. And if you don't, consider it uh, you know, icing on the cake, if you will. Um, but the standard lens, like I said, does fix the issue of cataracts and glare and uh, all the other symptoms related to cataracts. It's just uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is the need for possible glasses afterward. The last point I'll make is that I sort of spent the past couple of minutes here talking about the standard lens and this distance focus point. I can also set it for near, right? So a lot of you might be nearsighted to start with and you might want to stay that way. Maybe you like 
being able to take your glasses off and just read without glasses and just putting them on to drive or watch TV, that's perfectly fine. I can set it for near. Just keep in mind that whatever you are now uh, won't be the same um, after I do the surgery. Some people have this idea, oh, I can see well with uh, without glasses up close. Let me just set it for distance and I won't need glasses at all. Uh-uh. If you're nearsighted and you ask me to make it for distance, I'll do that for you. But now you're definitely going to need reading glasses. That's just uh, like it's a monofocal lens and I'm making you what you want to be, either nearsighted or farsighted. And then again, if you have astigmatism, kind of a moot point because I'm going to give you glasses for both when you're all healed up or your optometrist would. Um, hopefully that all made sense. Please, again, lots of questions that are welcome because I want to make sure you understand all this before you choose a lens that is going to stay with you going forward. All right. So the next video will be about the torque lens.